Hey everybody, Pete Werner here with the Disney Dining Show. Gonna do a couple of quick takes for you today of the desserts on offer at Geyser Point at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. So let's take a look. Okay, I think I'm on record that the greatest thing ever created by man is the bacon and eggs dish at the Wave, at the Contemporary. The second greatest thing ever created by man. The most wonderful sentence humans have ever put together apple cider sorbet that is incredible it is so so good actually i'm gonna be honest all these desserts aren't exactly to my taste but they're all the, all really good desserts they're really well done um and what's what's wrong with them from my perspective is some of them are not my preference right they're not just not what i would order but they're really, really well done, and they've obviously put a lot of work into this. Um, this makes me so incredibly happy to see desserts like this available. I mean, can this place get any better? Can Geyser Point possibly get any better? Now, if I'm not in the mood for like a really great appetizer or, 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 or dish, now they've got these desserts. I mean, I'm, t I'm sorry. Like everything these people do, I just keep getting more and more excited. This is fantastic. Apple cider sorbet, run, don't walk. And get the damn apple cider sorbet. Oh my God, that was so good. All right, so I tried everything as well. And hey, did you try everything? I tried everything but the, the little strawberry tart. You wanna try it? Yes. Okay. Give me your spoon. I'll get you a bite right now. So I'll be trying on camera. We'll do, we'll do this romantically. There you go. All right, you can just take a spoon. We have to have sound effects. What do you think? You like that one? So for me, Pete's absolutely right about the apple cider sorbet. It's a unique, it's a unique flavor to have in a sorbet that I've never had in that way before, but it's absolutely delicious. And as well, I like all, all these desserts. The one, the one that I wouldn't get again is actually the coffee, the coffee sorbet. What was that one called again? This was the dark roast coffee infused with chocolate gelato. So it was four sixty nine. If I was here just ordering one dessert for myself based on my preferences, I'd probably get that, and that's good. But all the other ones are better, and they're not the ones that I would have ordered. Presentation wise, the uh, the moose brownie. What was that one? So this was the campfire brownie, and it was six dollars. Right. So that presentation wise, I think is the most cute, beautiful dessert like very that's the instagram dessert here and it's it, yeah. it still tastes good but my favorite taste wise is apple cider sorbet okay that one so that's funny that's a very big favorite at this table yeah so it's not my favorite and surprisingly my favorite is the little campfire thing it's not too sweet it's a little rich so it's a little heavy so just beware if you want to order that if you want something light if you want something light, I suggest getting the sorbet, the apple cider sorbet. It is delicious, and it's a favorite. Um, I liked the little strawberry tart, but I don't think I'd ever order that again. Um, just because it, it's just, it's a little too plain for me. But, um... I thought the tart tasted really good, but you're right. Good. No, I, it was good. I probably wouldn't per personally order that again. If I'm coming here and I'm ordering one dessert for myself, it's either apple cider sorbet, or the campfire brownie, depending on where I'm leaning, chocolate or. You lost cider. me at or. Or. Yeah. You lost me at or. Well, I love my chocolate. And so, so. the camp. Well, is that chocolate on there too? Is this. What is that? I think this is just. Yes, yeah, this is chocolate. So. It, it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Love that, 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 that. That's pretty good chocolate. 
So the campfire brownie was six dollars. The seasonal pie was five ninety nine, which was um, strawberry. The strawberry. The chocolate part. and strawberry. Mm -hmm. The apple cider sorbet was seven dollars, and then the dark roasted coffee and peach chocolate gelato was four sixty nine. So good value for everything. And we do have some unique and interesting flavors, which is very nice, like the apple cider sorbet. Yeah, so if anything, I would suggest trying that and getting that. And um, if you have kids, I would get the little campfire. For sure. Because it's cute. This table has already talked at length about how much they love the apple cider sorbet, which... I may order another one. Yeah, we may even get another one. That's how much we like it. So I won't spend too much time commending it, even though it does have a very nice light flavor. Um, the strawberry tart, though good taste-wise, the texture's wrong. Like, like the consistency's wrong for dessert that you're gonna share with people. The sorbets are good for that. The uh, campfires are good for that. But the tart, you're gonna you're stabbing it with your fork or your spoon or your knife in order to try and break it up. At the end of the meal, what you want is to be able to like share it with people. You want to just be talking and just scoop it away with a spoon. You're not gonna be able to do that with that strawberry tart. Um, the the this. These things. Does anyone know what these are? I thought they were little marshmallows, but I don't know. They're not. They they have like a almost like a coffee taste. Like they like a coffee beans. I think it does really well when you combine the souffle with one of these because you were absolutely right that it is pretty sweet. But if you combine it with one of these, spot on. Like it also gives it a little bit of a crunch, which I think it could really use if you're not getting a bar, like that cake at the bottom. But otherwise, the flame one. Really good. If I had to pick a favorite, the apple cider sorbet. Yeah, I think the apple cider sorbet would take the favorite it's for me too. Winner. With a with a close second with with this one. I, I have literally I did like ordered this. another one. <laughs> That's how good it was. But all of them were great. You're not gonna go wrong. If you're by yourself or if everyone's gone and you're just getting one on your own, go for that strawberry tart. But it's gonna be a little difficult to share. Not getting none of my apple cider sorbet. This is so good. I ordered a second one. They're all trying to get their hands on it, but they can't have it. They get their own. All right, so that is going to do it for this look at the desserts. At where the hell are we, guys? <laughs> <the> point. <laughs> this is like the 17th vlog we filmed today. But that's going to do it. Leave this in. That's going to do it for uh, this look at the desserts at Geyser Point at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time. Uh, so I have to issue an, an addendum. Turns out the strawberry tart just needed to thaw out a little bit <laughs> before you could get that smooth cut into the tart that I was looking for. And now, it honestly might be my favorite out of all the desserts. I get mine. <laughs>